Paso in the road, Powder Blues. Remy Tushan, our match referee, blows the whistle, and we are underway from the champ on a perfect night here. We also have so many young players. So much of Orange County SC is about betting youth and giving them opportunity as Partita here takes over. Off to Alaski to touch on to Dogman. And here's some talent, Bryce Jameson. He is fun to so watch. quick. Speaking of quick, a nice turn there from Al Alaski drawing the foul. It was Brian this time and a card as well. Here is El Paso now in the attack. Zacharias, Aaron Gomez, his first chance forward, just missing the far post. It's a good attack from El Paso. That's better. That, that gives you the opportunity to get a strike. Unfortunately for them, it wasn't on target, just wide. Nice early ball there from Benny Diaz, head up and aware. Wide. Nice early ball there from Benny Diaz, head up and aware. And they managed to bring it down and great counter attack. Great speed in transition and it's a little bit of a tight angle i thought it took a deflection the shot let's have a look here does it yeah it does go under the feet and touch us and see better than the referee could from two three yards behind now we have the benefit of slow-mo so we can say actually you know what maybe it was but i just find you know the coaches do do tend to shout for their team even if they can't see clearly what's going on Dylan Powers, head up for the center back. That's angle of bodies, that's Dogman who was dropped. And this will be a yellow here against Miles Lyons. Another foul here as they're starting to mount. It's Brian Olaski who felt the brunt of that in the card out of the pocket once again. Another. Los Locos now in the attack through Gomez. A shot from a tight angle did not miss by much. Even though Los Locos have not necessarily threatened a good resolute defensive performance so far. Yeah, it's been, been very close, but to me the big talking point, of course, is Milan Oloski. Was it a penalty? Was it not? Because if it is a pen, it's a goal and possibly a second yellow for Navarro. So. No doubt there'll be a few words with the referee going down the tunnel, but in the end, that's the referee's given his decision. You Orange County with their tails up now. The second cross not met. Partita, though, back in the attack. He'll try one from distance. Thomas Among. Another shot off balance from a tight angle that only finds the supporters section. I guess you could ask the same question of Brian Clairhout. When does he want to bring on his players in his fresh legs? He might be happy with a nil-nil so far. Then it's Kostigen here with a clean tackle. Remy Kostigen letting them play here. OCSC back in possession. As we approach the hour mark, decision time for these managers upcoming. Brian Oloski now a sight of goal. Diaz always behind it. El Paso probing here, but Orange County back in possession through Milan Olaski. Up to Among. A tackle, a literal tackle in midfield. The crowd wanting advantage to be played, it would have been. Because it's very difficult to see this in real time and to make quick decisions. Mm. It does feel as though he has let more go in this second half now Nakeem on the pullback will this be a card yes it is second yellow issued to Orange County yeah a little bit of a tug in the back and that's going to get you into trouble with the referee on most Nakeem they're just losing the race and just because a little tug was it and again maybe there was a second little attempt as well yet to make an official save in this match D is just the one stop that's probably why Diaz has come out to play as centre-back. He's getting bored in goals. <laughs> Just wants to be involved in some way, shape, or form. Dogman with his less favoured right foot this time. Not on frame. Diaz, though. This would be a morale-boosting result, though, if they can keep it this way over the final 10 minutes on the road in Irvine. 
You got to think Orange County, however, will pose one or two more questions before the final whistle blows. What can they create? Lamb, McNulty, Mark McNulty! Shouts for a handball. McNulty's got to be careful here. He's going to get cautioned, and he will see yellow. Mark McNulty furious that there is no penalty. Their way tonight, Milana Lasky with a, well, we would say a very rap, uh, valid penalty shout in the first half, and now McNulty here in the seconds. Diaz able to needed to whip it in with a bit of pace. Instead, he puts it nice and high, and it's so easy for Benny Diaz. Seventh minute of added time here from the champ. Orange County's eight game win streak hanging in the balance. Another chance for Orange County. They will lob it forward. This will go over the head of everyone. And that will be the last act of this match. Wow. Well